So we're gonna be making our button flowers. Um, so each of you will have received a baggie like this and inside it's got googly eyes, lots of buttons and some sticks. You'll need the red paper that is in there and the actual construction paper. And you may all have gotten a different color. It was just the way it worked out, but it is construction as opposed to the vase itself is a cardstock, so it's harder, so you'll be able to tell. So you're gonna start with your construction paper. Oh, and to for the stems of them, the sticks, I actually use uh, green, the watercolor paint. So if you wanna paint those, or you could, again, if you've got markers or crayons, so I'm going to do that first so they can dry a little bit. So well, let me get some plain paper here underneath. And again, watercolor is super fast. It's, and it's watercolor, so you don't need to worry about getting it on your clothes at all, or you. Doesn't mean dump it on your clothes, of course, but you just do it. It dries so fast, flip it. one how many ever you decide now when you get ready to do your actual flowers with the buttons again you might want to lay those out I gave I didn't count I just kind of gave you handfuls of buttons so depending on I would lay them out first so you don't make too many or you don't want to have a lot of buttons left over unless you use them for something else of course that's up to you so once your sticks are painted then you're gonna make your vase so so we're just gonna put those over here they dry really fast so we're done with that paint put that aside okay so now let's go back to our paper and the vase and all I did to make the vase you may draw it if you want to. I know that some of you are a little more particular, but I just went from the corner and kind of just cut like a half a moon. Flipped it over, did the same thing. Now this is too tall and it, it, as you can see, it's not even, but that's okay. So what I did was I put it on here, decided how low I wanted to make it probably to about here and then I just cut straight off so then it's more like this uh, this is very different than this so if you want to try to fix it just don't make it too thin sometimes we we try to fix things to make them match them perfectly and then we don't have it so then this part you're gonna glue it onto here and when you're gluing do not glue the top. You're only gonna glue from about here down because you're gonna put your sticks on there and you're gonna put them under there. So I just glue. So you're gonna put it on this much, not the top. Lay it down on the bottom, press it down. And then get your sticks. Decide which side you like better. Maybe one is a little bit darker green than the other. I didn't do the ends. That's the part that's gonna go under my base. So you just need one little strip. Poke it down under there. Get your other one. Same thing, decide which side you want. Then, once you have your sticks in, then you want to glue the top of your vase because it's going to be flapping all over the place if you don't. So just do like a line on there. And hold it down. And then get your buttons. And like I said, I would take all of them out, dump them out. Um, this is a lot more than weight. These are the extras. So I have... So I did the big ones for my center and the little ones around. 
but you could do little and and do it that way and do the others so depending on where you want it do you you can glue it onto your stick they will stay on your stick if you want to and you can just put the little pieces around however you choose to mix it up you have so you've got a pink and a blue center and then the little ones were yellow and purple so I would lay them all out first decide how you want it and then what I did was once you have it laid out then go in and you just need to do a dot wherever you have the button pick it up put a dot put the button right back down and don't move it till you're all done because again remember when the glue is wet it's great because you can move them a little bit and because it's just white glue it'll dry clear but glue this kind of glue is the strongest glue but only once it's dry until it's dried it will fall all over the place so you're just going to go all the way around however you choose to do it and glue them on okay